Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to be talking about depression and antidepressant drugs. So what depression is, it is actually a feeling of sadness and hopelessness. In this condition, the patient actually feels inability to experience any pleasure. in any of his or her usual activities and he can also have disturbance in sleep cycle or sleep patterns he also experienced loss of appetite or change in appetite behavior he also feel loss of energy and there can be also presence of some suicidal thoughts if we talk about the uh, pathophysiology of depression what actually happened that there is decrease in the concentration or production of norepinephrine or serotonin so there is decrease in the concentration of norepinephrine or serotonin in brain which actually result into depression so this thing actually lead to a theory which is called as biogenic amine theory according to this theory it is said that depression is due to deficiency of these two monoamines at certain site of uh, brain but this theory is actually overly simplified because after taking antidepressant drug this thing is immediately recovered but therapeutic response of the patient takes over several weeks so it is suggested that reuptake of these neurotransmitter is only the initial effect of the drugs but it is not directly responsible for antidepressant effects so this bio i mean theory is actually overly simplified because reuptake of these neurotransmitters is actually immediately been recovered by antidepressant drug but, but the therapeutic response of the patient for antidepressant effect is not directly stimulated so what antidepressant drug do is that they potentiate the effect of norepinephrine or serotonin directly or indirectly in brain which in turn cause the increase in the presence of norepinephrine or serotonin in brain which result into antidepressant effect so this is how antidepressant drugs actually work so we have different classes of antidepressant drugs which are SSRIs which stand for selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors they actually inhibit the reuptake of serotonin neurotransmitter and which result in increase in the concentration of serotonin in synaptic cleft and the next class include serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors they inhibit the reuptake of both serotonin and epinephrine norepinephrine and in this way there is increase in the concentration of these neurotransmitters in the synaptic cleft which cause increase in the response of these 
neurotransmitters. And the next class is atypical antidepressants. And the fourth one is TCAs, which stand for tricyclic antidepressants. And the next one is monoamine oxidase inhibitors, which are known as MAOIs. So they actually inhibit the enzyme present for the degradation of serotonin or norepinephrine. So in this way, they will increase the concentration of these neurotransmitter for the cellular responses. So this was all about basic introduction of depression and antidepressant drugs which are being used to treat depression. So we will be talking about all of these classes one by one in our next videos. So if you have any question related to the topic, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching my videos.